everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So, for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo yung projectile motion na horizontally launched. So, dalawang cases ng projectile motion. So, una ko i-discuss sa video na to is yung horizontally launched muna. And then, makikita nyo dun sa next video ko yung um, case kapag non-horizontally launched. So, para mas maintindihan natin to, uh, mag-illustrate muna ako sa inyo para ma ituro ko sa inyo muna yung concept before tayo mag-solve ng mga word problems. So, ang ginagamit natin na equations nga pala sa pag-solve ng projectile motion is galing din sa ating kinematic equations. So, let's just say, uh, kung rin nasa cliff ka, and then meron kang gustong ihagis dito na, na ball, okay? And then, this ball, let's assume that you wanted to throw it horizontally, Okay, so meron tayo ditong tinatawag na VIX. Ito yung initial horizontal velocity ng ball. Okay? So in this case, itong ball na to, kapag um, hinagis mo siya horizontally, ang tendency niya is that magmumove din siya vertically. Kaya magkakaroon siya ng parabolic path like this. Okay, so, so ano yung initial vertical velocity natin? So ang initial vertical velocity natin or VIY is just equal to zero. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, um, along the vertical, walang movement yung ating ball initially. Okay? So, mangyari niya, pagdating niya rito sa ground, yung final value ng kanyang horizontal uh, velocity is just the same as the initial horizontal velocity. Yan. Parehas lang si Vfx sa Vix. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin nito, ang Vx natin ng ating horizontal velocity for the case of a projectile is constant. Yan. At dahil constant ang ating Vx, that means ang ating acceleration along the x-axis is also equal to zero. Okay, so wala siyang acceleration. Now, pagdating naman sa case ng Vy, okay, it's a different story. Kasi yung movement niya along the vertical, tatandaan natin lahat ng object basta nasa area na siya. Okay, parati siyang merong acceleration due to gravity na equal sa negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so, in this case, pwede natin sabihin na yung acceleration natin along the vertical or EY is just equal to your G. Okay? So, ibig sabihin itong ball na to, pagdating niya sa final position niya just before hitting the ground, yung kanyang VFY okay, has a certain value. Hindi na to equal to zero. Okay? This one is no longer equal to zero. Why? Kasi nga, meron siyang acceleration due to gravity. Okay? Now, in this case, dalawa yung kailangan nating um, parts na i-compute kapag meron tayong projectile motion. So, gagamitin natin yung kinematic equations for the horizontal motion and pwede rin natin siya gamitin for the vertical motion. Okay, so, bigyan ko kayo ng example ng problem. So, a pool ball leaves a 0.60 meter high table with an initial horizontal velocity of... 2.4 meters per second. Predict the time required for the pole ball to fall to the ground and the horizontal distance between the table's edge and the ball's landing location. Okay, so isulit muna natin yung mga given natin. So, sa so given natin, meron tayo ditong um, distance. Okay, given tayo ng height ng table. So, kung illustrate natin ito, okay, so let's say ito yung um, height ng table. So, we can denote this as your dy. Okay, okay. So, ang dy natin is equal to 0.60 meters. Now, yung pool ball is, of course, ang movement niya is pababa, like this one. So, projectile siya. So, since pababa yung kanyang movement, that means yung dy natin is negative. Okay, so, again, kapag negative ang sign, it means downward yung motion ng ating object. Okay, so since, um, of course, dumipad to sa ere, so that means meron tayong acceleration due to gravity na equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And this G is yung sinasabi natin na AY. Your AY is just equal to G. Okay, um, given din tayo rito ng initial horizontal velocity, so yung ating VIX is equal to 2.4 meters per second. So, remember na kapag projectile motion natin is horizontally launched, parati nyo tatandaan na ang VIY is always equal to zero. Yeah, so, nabanggit ko kanina kung bakit. So, in this case, hanapin natin ang time. Okay? The time it requires to hit the ground. Okay? And then, yung horizontal distance between the table's edge okay, up to the ball's landing position. So, ito yung ating DX na kailangang hanapin. Yeah, so, dalawang parts siya. So, therefore, um, paano natin ito masasolve? So, una muna natin isolve yung time. Okay, so, para masolve natin yung time, ang magagamit natin dito is yung vertical motion niya. 
So, para masolve natin yung time, kailangan natin um, gamitin yung vertical motion. So, ang given natin is meron tayong dy na negative 0.60 meters. And then, meron tayong ay na equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And meron din tayong viy na equal to 0. So, ito gagamitin natin ang given para mahanap yung time. So, kung nga hanapin natin dito sa mga equations natin, okay, hanapin muna natin lahat ng merong mga d. So, itong tatlong to merong d. Okay? Kasi natin na hanapin yung lahat ng may vi. So, lahat to merong vi. And then, lahat lang ng merong g. Okay? So, lahat ng may g or merong ay or acceleration, ito lang dalawa. Okay? So, i-cross out na natin tong last. Pero of course, since we're looking for the time, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin itong third one kasi wala siyang time. So, itong gagamitin natin yung second equation. So, i-write ko lang siya as dy is equal to viy t plus one half ay t squared. Okay, so in this case, pwede ko nang makancel agad itong term na to, yung viy t, kasi equal lang siya sa zero, dahil lang viy natin is equal to zero. So, therefore, para masolve natin yung um, t, so magiging ganito na siya. dy is equal to one half ay t squared. So, para masolve ang t, divide natin both sides by 1 half ay. Yan. So, yung ay natin dito makakancel. Okay? So, leaving you with t squared. So, of course, kailangan natin hanapin ng t. Kaya, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung square root ng both sides of the equation. Kaya, yung t natin is equal to the square root of 2d over ay. So, sa substitute ko lang yung mga values natin. So, meron tayong 2 times negative 0 0.60 meters divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so pag ito, in-input natin sa calculator, ang makukuha natin sagot dito is 0 0.35. So, 0 0.35 seconds. Yeah. So, dali lang, di ba? Okay, so next naman, try natin isolve yung ating dx. So, para masolve naman natin yung dx, so anong pwede natin gamitin? Ang pwede natin gamitin dito is yung vix na given, which is 2.4 meters per second. Ayan yung time na na-compute natin kanina na 0 0.35 seconds. Okay, so alam natin na ang ax natin is, a, is this one is equal to 0. Okay, kasi walang, wala tayong acceleration dahil constant yung ating initial velocity and final horizontal velocity. Okay, so para ma-solve natin, ang hinahanap ngayon natin dito is yung dx. Okay, so paano natin mahanap yung value ng ating dx? So hanapin natin yung equation dito na meron lahat ng mga elements na to. Okay, so kailangan natin hanapin yung merong vi. Okay, so lahat to may vi. So and then kailangan natin hanapin yung merong t. So meron tayong t factors, uh, meron tayong t. Tito is yung first, second, at saka yung third. Okay, and then yung merong acceleration. So, ang meron lang dito is itong dalawa sa taas. So, makakancel na natin to Hindi natin ito kailangan. So, dito na lang yung pagpipilian natin dito sa dalawa. And then, of course, kailangan makita natin dun yung unknown natin, which is D. So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung first one. Kaya itong second one yung gagamitin natin. So, ito, kailangan ko lang itong i-rewrite. So, gagawin ko siyang dx is equal to vix times t plus 1 half ax t squared. Pero since alam natin yung ax natin is equal to 0, so therefore dito pwede na natin mat-cancel itong term na to kasi this one is just equal to 0. Ayan. Kaya mangyayari is that meron tayong dx is equal to vix times t. So substitute na natin yung mga values. So meron tayong 2.4 meters per second times yung time natin na 0 0.35 seconds. So makakancel natin yung second dito. Kaya yung dx natin, kapag ginamitan nyo ito ng calculator, ang makukuha nyo yung sagot is 0 0.84 meters. Yan. So, ganun lang po kasimple yung pag-solve ng um, problem for um, projectile motion. Okay. So, bigyan ko pa kayo ng isa pang example. So, para mas um, maintindihan nyo yung projectile motion na horizontally launch. So, a soccer ball is kicked horizontally off a 22-meter high hill and lands a distance of 35 meters from the edge of the hill. So, determine the initial velocity of the soccer ball. Okay. So, uh, um, illustrate natin siya ulit, no? So, kung ito yung ating hill, okay, meron siyang distance or meron siyang vertical distance, yung height niya is 
22.0 meters. So, nandito yung soccer ball. So, nung kinik siya horizontally. So, ganyan yung kanyang motion. Okay? And then, ang sabi, it landed 35 meters from the edge of the hill. So, ito yung landing position niya. Ito yung edge ng hill natin. Okay? So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Um, I mean, ito yung DX natin. So, yung DX natin is 35 meters. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin dito is, ano daw yung VIX? Okay? So, again, kailangan natin i-recall na since yung ball natin is also in free fall, we can say na yung ating AY is just equal to G, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Ano pa? So, lagi natin tatanda sa projectile motion na horizontally launch, ang VIY natin is always equal to zero. Itatandaan nyo yan kasi makakatulong yan ng malaki sa pagsusolve ninyo. Okay. And then... Um, kailangan din natin isipin na ang, yung, ang inyong AX is equal to 0 kasi constant ang ating horizontal velocity. So, in this case, hindi rin given ang time. Okay? So, hindi natin alam po ano ang time dito. Pwede natin gamitin na equation dito is yung second one. Okay? So, since given tayo ng DX, okay, pwede natin gamitin ang DX is equal to VIXT plus 1 half AXT squared. Pero remember na AX is just equal to 0, so kaya cancel ito. So therefore, pwede natin magamit ang DX is equal to VIX times T. Okay, the problem is, although given tayo ng DX, hindi natin alam yung value ng T. Okay, so that means, kailangan muna natin isolve yung value ng T. So paano natin masisolve yung value ng T? Um, kailangan natin gamitin yung um, vertical motion. So, sa vertical motion, ang pwede natin gamitin na equation dito is that meron tayong given na dy. Okay? Remember na yung dy nga pala natin is negative kasi downward yung kanyang motion. Okay? So, meron tayong dy, meron tayong diy, and meron tayong ay. Okay? So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, pwede natin gamitin ulit itong second equation. So, meron tayong dy is equal to biyt plus one half ay squared. So, since alam natin na yung DIY natin is equal to 0, so itong term na to, makakansa lang. 0 siya. Kaya DY is equal to 1 half AY T squared. Okay? So, katulad ng pagkakasolve natin dun sa isa kanina, okay, um, isusulat ko na lang yung pinaka-final answer dito for the T. So, yung T natin is equal to the square root of 2 DY over AY. Okay, so ito yung 2, square root of 2 times dy natin is negative 22 meters divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Yan, kaya yung makukuha natin na time is just equal to 2.12 seconds. Okay, so yan yung time. So, since meron na tayong time, pwede na natin masolve yung dix. Okay, so para masolve ang dix dito, I-divide lang natin both sides of the equation by T. So, yung VIX is equal to DX over T. So, that, so that is 35 meters divided by 2.12 seconds. And DIRX is equal to 16.5 meters per second. Yan. So, pa natin natin tatandaan na kapag uh, meron tayong projectile motion horizontally launch, meron tayong value ng AY na negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then yung VIY natin is equal to zero. And then yung ating horizontal velocity is a constant, kaya yung AX natin is equal to zero. So, for my next video, um, I'm going to discuss yung projectile motion na non-horizontally launch.